What's going on guys? Aviation Aiden here. Uh, so today I bring exciting news. Uh, I have just gotten in the mail my very first uh, model aircraft for my airport. And so if you haven't seen any of my videos uh, before this one, my la last video, my latest one, uh, it was just a showing of what I'm going to be doing next on this channel, which is going to be a Salt Lake City International Airport. Uh, in the 1500 scale, and apparently, I guess the only company that really does 1500 scale diecast uh, model airliners are Herpa. So I decided to order my very first Herpa miniature model. Um, and so I chose, uh, I, I took some thought and I just chose my favorite aircraft, 737. And because the uh, Salt Lake City is one of Delta's hubs, I decided to get a Delta aircraft. So, my camera's kind of being weird. Okay, so there it is, right there. Um, so I was actually kind of surprised. I did not expect it to be this small, but let's just get a little measure. It's about four inches, the box, and it and uh, four inches in width, width and length, or not width, whatever. Yeah, you know, length and height. So, yeah, let's get it open here. So we have up close the model. You can see. Very, very detailed. Okay. So let's go ahead and open it up. Very nice packaging. Here it is. Delta 737-900ER. Go ahead and focus in on it. There we go. Let's get some measurements in here. It's about 3.7 wingspan and about 4 inches on the length. And its height, would, I would say, about half an inch. So, yep, yeah, so here it is. Let's take a look at the nose here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. There are actually windshield wipers, which I thought was super cool when I first noticed it. Let's go ahead and move it to the side here. With the Sky Team logo right above the cabin uh, or the uh, cockpit windows. The Delta logo painted right on the side. And all of the cabin windows. And then the two emergency exits along with the arrows for escape. The Wi Fi hub right on the top right there. Can I focus? There we go. None. Tail number registration November 834, Delta November. Which is actually an actual tail registration. I checked Flight Radar 24. By the time of this is recording, it just arrived at Las Vegas from uh, JFK International. Right there, it just says 834. It's kind of hard to tell just because of how small it is. And then we have the service door right here. Let's look at the back here. Very nice APU sitting right there. On the other side, nothing much. Now, one thing I was surprised on is how sharp these uh, winglets are. Just, just how sharp. Like when I picked it up, it was I was actually expecting it to be super light, but it was actually kind of heavy for its size. So yeah, it's the nice winglets here. Let's take a look at the engines. As you can see, these are the uh, 737's famous kind of 
it's half, it's like a half, it's not an even circle, that's the thing. This one probably is more showing, because the engines are so low to the ground. They did that there, very nice. Same thing on the other side with the winglets, except this side it's got the green light. Let's go ahead and flip it upside down here. I believe these landing gear are rolling, but they're very small, so it's kind of hard to tell. Um, bottom, nothing much to look at. Just you got the cargo doors on the side. The Delta logo, except the D is missing because that is actually a uh, stand hold. Or oh, like the stand connector thing. We have the flaps back here. Overall, I honestly, I recommend this aircraft to any 1500 scale collector. I was honestly surprised of how small it is, just because the only 1500 aircrafts I have are big aircraft, like the C-17, the 777, 787, um, and all that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys have any just recommendations of Delta aircraft, or if you have any other... If you know any other companies that sell 1 500th uh, scale aircraft, let me know. I am trying to look for a Delta 767, a Concorde, and a Tupolev TU-144 supersonic transports. Um, but yeah, thanks thanks uh, so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review and unboxing and whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.